What is a supernatural event that happened in your life that just cannot be explained? Super minor compared to many in this thread. Night before Thanksgiving three years ago I was across the country at my parents. Driving back to theirs with my now wife from a friend's house. As we draw near, there is some type of bundle in the middle of the road. I stopped and pulled off to move it. And it turned out to be a barred owl that got clipped by a car. Long story short I spend the rest of that night getting the owl into a puppy cage. Gave it some food and water. And the next day dropped it off at a wildlife rescue center. I got home the next week. All the way across the country. New Jersey to Oregon. I stepped outside and there was a barred owl sitting on my fence watching me. It was gone by the time I got back. But now I know I'm straight with all owls. Many years ago, my parents had separated and my father was planning on taking a trip across the country to California. He was pretty excited about it. I talk to him the day before he's leaving. Wish him well and tell him I'll talk to him after he gets to California. The day of his trip. He calls me and tells me he decided last minute not to go. Refuses to really get into why. Just says he changed his mind. Seemed really odd for something that he had been planning for a couple months. That night I'm sitting at my girlfriend's house and we're watching the news. And they report that U.S. Air Flight 1493, the flight my dad was supposed to be on, collided with another aircraft while landing in Los Angeles. About 25% of the people on the flight were killed. Hard to know how my dad would have made out. Because it really depended on where you were sitting. Front versus back of the plane. It was several months before he finally told me that night before he was supposed to leave. He had an extremely vivid dream that he died in a fiery plane crash. So vivid that it scared him out of flying that day. My dad is a Marine Corps Vietnam veteran who saw combat. I can only imagine how vivid the dream must have been. To scare him out of getting on that plane that morning. The night my friend took his own life I had a sudden urge to call him. I'm in Canada and he was in Atlanta at the time. I didn't call because I was out partying with friends and got the news the next day when I woke up. I feel like I missed the chance to save a friend but my dad says it was him letting me know he was gone but was going to be okay. I'm sorry I didn't reach out bud. I regret it all the time. I have an idea of what may have happened. But I cannot definitively say how this happened. My father died in 2000 in my parents' house. I was over one night pretty late after my mother had gone to sleep. I swear I could feel my father's presence. As I was right in the spot where he had died. They believe he had a heart attack while laying on the couch. Tried to get off the couch to call for help but fell on the floor and died. Though no one else was home when it happened. I was on the couch when this happened. Anyway. I thought to myself, this is stupid. People don't leave essences behind. I'm not feeling anything. So, I say out loud, if this is really you, dad, knock a box of cereal off the shelf onto the floor. I wanted to pick something I didn't think could happen by accident. I went into the kitchen and watched the shelf with the cereal on it for a few minutes and nothing happened. Since it was almost midnight. I decided to sleep in my old bedroom. I woke up the next morning and went downstairs and a box of cereal was laying on the floor. I say to my mother. Did you knock that cereal onto the floor? She said no. It was like that when she woke up. So. What the fuck. Man. However. My mother had a cat. I'm guessing the cat did it. But I don't know for sure. If she'd gotten on the shelf. Everything would have been knocked around and messy from her. Everything was else was in its normal position. Just the box of cereal was on the floor. I mean, regardless, it has to have been the cat. Right? Asterisk edit. Asterisk my mother also told me. Months before this happened, 
that she felt my father get in bed with her one night after he died. She said, go away, Greg, you're dead. You don't need to go to bed anymore. And she says she felt him get out of the bed after that. Weird. My mother despised my father by the end of his life though they remained married. It's not surprising she told him to GTFO. I had a dream once about my high school best friend who had moved out of state and started a family. I hadn't seen her or spoken to her in at least 10 years and had never met her child. Except seeing pictures, posts on Facebook and commenting on them. In my dream I was walking down a street at night and out of nowhere her little girl appears next to me and I asked her. Where is your mama? Why are you by yourself? I remember her taking me to some bushes near a random house on the street and finding my friend. In bad shape. Beaten up or something. On the ground and I remember running to the door of the random house screaming for help and to call. The police. This is all I can recall from the dream but I think there may have been a little more. The next day. I wake up and think to myself. Man that was weird. Maybe I dreamt of her because we had just spoken a little in comments of a Facebook post. I should send her a message. I go on about my day. Go to work. Get home later that day and sit on my couch and scroll through Facebook. Bam. 1000 posts. Rest in peace. Etc. All of them tagged my friend and her daughter. I thought what in the actual f asterisk ck. At that point there was no information as to what had happened. So I thought it must have been a car accident or something. Over the course of the next few weeks to months. More and more information came out and it was not an accident. My friend and her sweet baby had been murdered by some animal. I won't refer to them as a person. This happened about five years ago. I still remember the main parts of the dream vividly. I still am a little horrified that I had this dream that night. When it was happening possibly. I haven't been able to tell anyone else about it either because just thinking about it gives me. Chills. Subscribe my brothers.